I mean, it's a little different, but we approach every day the same way, you know, it's with the same mindset and the same intensity. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's probably a little different for everybody, but, I mean, we attack it the same way as any other practice. How do you guys feel physically this time? Oh, I mean, it, feel, it feels good. I feel like my body, get my, uh, my legs back under me and everything healed up. So it's, it's a great thing for me. For sure. what, what are you guys doing offensively that allows you guys out of the backfield to always be open, it seems like? <laughs> I mean, it's just a lot of things. It's a lot of movement. It's a lot of uh, a lot of different players moving everywhere. Are so. you surprised if it keeps working every single day? <laughs> hey, I, sometimes I am surprised, but at the same time, I kind of understand because, like, but the defense is, is kind of like, it's kind of hard, you know what I'm saying? Just really like key in on everybody and see where everybody's going. You had a nice catch today. How, is that something you've always been able to do or have you worked on it since you've been? I mean, I've always, I've always been able to catch. I feel like that was always one of my little strengths, you know, growing up. And I mean, yeah, it's, it's just, I'm building on it for sure though. How much does this team lock in on this finish Oh, no, nah, we're locked in for sure. Everybody's got got a good mindset, you know what I'm saying, approaching it the right way. So I, I feel good about it for sure. I mean, Coach said today you guys came out and locked in. It was great to be able to come out the right way. How, how big is that? I mean, that's that's huge, you know what I'm saying? It's a, a huge step for where we want to go, and I'm just proud of the team for that for sure. Year three here for you, the first bowl, I guess. What's it? How is the excitement level yeah. going to kind of finally get to experience that? Oh, no, that's that's definitely different, man. I'm, I'm actually happy we got to experience this because, you know, it's my first time for sure. So, like, it's different, and I'm just soaking it all in, for you, sure. You'll be able to get some family over? Since oh, no, most definitely. Uh, my family's only an hour and 30 away, so everybody I can come, everybody that can come will be there for sure. As a player, do you keep track of like recruiting rankings on these kids coming in and what your class, what Florida State's class is going to be and who's all coming? Do you look at that kind of stuff or just when they show up, you, you make your own opinions? Most of the time, uh, usually when they come visit and things like that, or if they hit me up on Instagram or any, any social media, I'll definitely check in with them and just let them know how, how we work and like how, how our standard is for sure. So like, just so everybody understands. But do you go look them up after they're done? Like, okay, where does this guy rank? How good is he? How many stars does he have? Does that stuff matter to you at all? Not at all for me. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie to you. If, you. if you're a dog, you're a dog, for sure, yeah. For a lot of these guys, like this last week or two in the recruiting process has been pretty hectic. Do you, what was it like for you your, before you signed? Was it was it hectic at all? So there was a coaching change, obviously. I mean, it kind of was a little different for me because, you know, I didn't really have too much experience with like, I really didn't take much visits either. Like I didn't have as much knowledge as I do now, but uh, it was kind of different with coaches getting fired and positions changing and things like that. But I mean, I, I feel like I put my trust in God and it worked out for me. A bunch of guys have announced that they're coming back for next season, some of the other guys. And, um, have, there, have there been individual conversations among guys about like, hey, what are you doing? Or are you guys letting everybody handle their next season? I mean, we kind of like let the boys do it on their own. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of a surprise to us too. So, you know what I'm saying? We let the boys talk to their families and handle their business on their own though. Was it easy to kind of come around to this whole running back by committee thing that you guys do with this program? Or is it something that you guys all embrace and kind of see a, a upside to? Oh yeah, we, we really just built our, I feel like we really set a standard in the running back room and built it up from ground one. So like, and I, I want to keep that standard even when we're gone. You know what I'm saying? We want to hold them boys to that standard, for sure. You guys got you, Trey, Trey Sean, uh, you know, Rodney, CJ, because I can play next year. Like, is, everyone's going to be happy, we think? Oh, yeah. No, 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 for sure. We'll, we'll find a way to make it work. No, most definitely. We want to see everybody eat, everybody go. Because I had a nice run today in the red zone. Uh, we're going to see more and more of him, I guess, late late in the season here. What what does he bring to the, the backfield? Uh, he's he's a different kind of back. He's versatile for sure. You know what I'm saying? Big body, fast and agile. So he's definitely an asset for our offense.